YouTube. It has been a while since I've done a live video. It's been a minute. <laughs> um, you know, so the only reason I'm even able or I have time to do a live video is because I went to work early today, left a little early. I'm home and it's only about, what time is it right now? It's about uh, 4, 40, 4.35 or something right now. I don't even know what time it is. But anyway, that's the only reason that I'm even able to do a live video at this moment. I really hope that everyone's doing well. Um, and I guess I just wanted to give you guys an update. And while I give you an update, as you guys know, if you're an OG subscriber, what I usually do on these live videos is that you guys go ahead and ask all the questions you want, ask any questions you want. I'll make sure to answer it as I go ahead and give a live update on how it's been. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, like, why have I not been posting um, as many videos as I used to? I used to post up a new video every other day. Then I went to posting new videos every two days or every three days. And, uh, and now it's been about, I think, four days since I've uploaded a video. And to be quite honest, guys, it's just, it's, life has just been so busy. Um, I've literally had no time to just vlog. And to be honest, like just, just to vlog in general, it's been really hard because I just don't have that time anymore, even to edit. And, uh, you know, life is really busy right now. Life is good. You know, there's, honestly, there's a lot of good things happening in my life right now. I can't say right now on this vlog, on this channel, but if you message me on the side, maybe I'll tell you. But <laughs> other than that, man, life has been good. Uh, I've been learning a lot of, I'm a lot better at JavaScript learning a lot of Angular on the side of my own. I'm learning a lot of PHP on my own. Next week, my senior developer, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna, he's gonna sit right next to me via web and just guide me through how to do more PHP, do better at PHP projects at my actual company. But let's see who's in the chat before I even get into here. Uh, who's in here? We have um, Zumer, we have Alan Tim, we have Neil Floyd. Uh, what's up guys? Um, but yeah, um, other than that also, um, it's really interesting. There's actually been a lot of companies that have been trying to recruit me messaging me all the time on LinkedIn, sending me emails. But to be quite honest, I'm really happy at my company. I think it's a great company to work for and they give me a lot of leeway to grow as a developer. Um, but yeah, does anyone have any questions? If you have any questions, please make sure to go ahead and post in the chat. Um, but I, I wanna let you guys know that I will be uploading a new video starting tomorrow um, and I'm excited about that. Uh, one thing I do wanna talk about though, um, before we get into this man, um, is uh, really the future of web development right now. Uh, web development, I'm not gonna lie, um, I've been a programmer for about a year and a half. I've been coding for about a year and nine months, <laughs> right? And uh, the industry is getting much more difficult to get into now. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, before, to be quite honest, all you really need to know was HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? And um, that's pretty much it in jQuery to get a job as a junior. But that has changed within the last year and a half already. It's it's insane how difficult it is. Now, you need to learn Angular. You need to know maybe yeah, at least Angular or React, plus PHP, if not Laravel. Um, you have to know at least one of those to even get a job nowadays because everyone's starting to use it now. Um, so and, and it's gone to the point where even in job boards, they don't even ask if you know HTML, CSS, or JavaScript anymore. It's a given. And if you don't know that, it, it, it's just a given. So now, even on my resume, I took out HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I just leave jQuery, PHP, Angular, um, MySQL, um, Ajax. And that's all I have on my resume. That's it. I don't even put HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because that's a given. <laughs> uh, but all right, let's go look at the questions right now. All right, so let's see, let's see. So John G. Fisher, he says this. Hey, Chris, great channel. Super inspiring. I started a web dev channel and I'm trying to grow. Any tips? Uh, that's not, okay. <laughs> um, John, honestly, man, if you want to grow your channel, the biggest tip, sorry, the biggest tip I would give is just upload every single day. Uh, if I had the time to do it, I would upload a vlog every single day, but I just don't have that time anymore. And I would do that every single day, no matter what it is. Um, how is PHP learning going? It's been good. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying PHP is dying, but there's so much legacy code when it comes to this. And man, like, uh, I'm so glad that I got into it. And I'm so glad that my company is heavily focused on PHP because just to really even have like your name go out there, to even have, you know, people look at you, you have to be honestly pretty good at PHP, at least able to code around it. So yeah, PHP has been going good, man. Um, and I'm gonna go dive into it more next week. Um, Jason Rivera is asking, does my company use any PHP frameworks? No. Uh, we just use pure PHP. What do I think about React? I think React is cool, but I prefer Angular. I think Angular is much more popular than React, at least in, within Orange County. And if you wanna get a job as a front-end developer, you have to learn Angular. It is huge, everyone uses it. New companies are starting to implement it. My company's starting to implement it now. Um, and we're trying to do it into it. It's, uh, you know, it's kinda hard to implement it into our company, but we're trying to find a way to do it too. What is up, 
Ivy. Um, all right, Alan says, I'm learning web dev with Treehouse, but they do not have a lot of practice. What is your tips about practicing and building your own projects? Um, to be honest, uh, Team Treehouse, it's good for building a strong foundation. Um, but what I do now is that I just try to build my own things now nowadays, you know, build my own forms. I'm really trying to build practical things that you can use. Uh, so for example, if you're learning JavaScript, then what can you do to make your, if you're learning JavaScript, then you already know HTML, CSS. What I would do is build a super basic website, which Team Treehouse teaches you to do, and you could copy and paste the code after you do it. Then what I would do is that I would see what I can do to make my page interactive. Well, whatever I learned, for example, at Team Treehouse on how to make a to-do list, I'll put that code on my portfolio, on my website, make sure you apply it that way. And then as you get better at programming, as you get better at just having an eye for design as a front end developer, and even just code in general, upgrade your page every single chance that you get. And that's what I would do. All right, good question though, man, good question. All right, uh, Stan Biz, man, OG subscriber. It's been good, man, it's been good. Um, life is good. <laughs> um, I'm happy. Um, I can't say why. Right, but um, just just know I've never been this happy in my life. And you know, there's hardships and I'm overwhelmed with a lot of things, but life couldn't be any better. And I can't wait to start sharing that on my next vlogs coming up starting next week. Um, uh, but okay. All right, Logan Chung says, hey Chris, how's the job market in LA? Am I still in LA? I don't live in LA, I live in Orange County, but I say LA because not a lot of people know Orange County. But yeah, man, the job market is huge. Um, go to Indeed.com, there's jobs hiring everywhere. Um, I have a friend who's trying to recruit me to his company right now, but you know, I, I like where I'm at because I can learn. I, I don't get paid the best, but in regards to growing my skill as a programmer, there's no better place to learn than where I'm at now. You know, so yeah, the, the job market in LA, I mean, it's a tech bubble here. You know, uh, Irvine, uh, Los Angeles, um, Santa Monica, those are all tech bubbles here within Southern California. So job market's huge if you're good because it's extremely competitive down here. Well, uh, Snapchat is down here. Google is down here. There's also Google up in Northern California. Um, what else is down here? Uh, Curse is down here. Blizzard is down here. There's a bunch of, co oh, I'm about to sneeze. There's a bunch of companies that are down here that are still hiring right now. Oh man, I'm about to sneeze. One second, guys. Anyway, <laughs> um, all right, Jake, he says, um, oh no, I'm about to sneeze. No, okay, Jake says, I'm looking at your videos and one of them says, don't learn code, you're too late. Should I just watch it to see what you mean? <laughs> yes, Jake, just watch it, man. <laughs> uh, Addy the Great says, do you recommend attending a boot camp for self-taught? I rec If you can afford a boot camp, do a boot camp. If you can afford it, I would do it. Um, but you don't need a bootcamp to get a job. It will help you learn a lot faster than a self-taught developer uh, because you also have tutoring on the side that can help guide you. But I would prefer to do Treehouse and teach myself code. And I'll, I did that from the beginning and I'd stick to that to this very day. Um, by the way, I'm actually not worth the Firehose project anymore. I'm not with that bootcamp. Um, to be quite honest, I just, I mean, it was good, but it just, it didn't fit my style. And so I just had to stop it. Um, I can't lie to you guys. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's keep going down. Uh, wow, there's a lot on here. All right, um, Stan Bits, it's because you you got your paycheck. That's why you're happy. Nah, man, pay that money does not money does not make me happy. Uh, just say I'm happy. I'm just, I'm just happy. All right, coding forever. What's up? Suggestions for learning MongoDB, John? I'm sorry, man. I don't know anything about that. Um, I wish I can help you. By the way, man. By the way, if you guys haven't yet, please like this video. It will help out a lot. It will help out a lot if you haven't yet. Um, all right, Logan says thank you so much for answering. Good luck for what you're planning to do. Oh, thank you. Um, dang, that's all the questions, huh? That's what happens when I don't do a live video for like three or four months. People don't go on my live <laughs> videos for a while. That's all good. I'm gonna start going back to this on a regular basis. <coughs> oh my gosh excuse me but anyway anyway um um uh zoomar do i do freelance work no i actually youtube's like my freelance work to be honest <coughs> oh my gosh man it is so windy down here in southern california right now my allergies are killing me all right last question i guess from addy what do you think about cryptocurrency oh man cryptocurrency developers i don't know about developers but cryptocurrency my manager invested like maybe five thousand dollars into it and now he he made a profit of 50,000. So <laughs> whether you're a manager or not, check it out. Um, okay, Coding Forever is asking the question, is JavaScript really hard as most people say? Um, it is hard because it's a programming language and programming languages are very logical and it's very technical and it's it, a programming language for your first, like just for your first language is always gonna be hard, whether it's PHP, whether it's Java or JavaScript. And so 
it is hard, but all programming languages are. But as you get comfortable with it, to be honest, learning PHP is easy because I know JavaScript now. Learning all these other languages are easy because of JavaScript. The only main difference is the syntax. And so that's it. All right. Um, Ethereum is actually what I invested in, um, but I don't have it anymore. I just sold it recently. Uh, all right. So Isara says, Chris, I just started to learn code. I have 16 years. I'm, he's 16 years old. My goal is to learn code before I graduate high school. You're a sophomore right now. Dude. Good time to learn code, man. Oh my gosh, if I knew code at that age. <laughs> anyway, all right, so John says, where do I see myself five years from now? Um, there is one thing, but I can't say. Again, I can't say, but I'm happy. Maybe you get the hint, but I'm happy. Um, uh, I see that I will be working for a bigger tech company. I see that I'll be much better at programming. I'll see that even more recruiters will try to reach out to me. I'll see that my life will improve because of how much better I am at programming and because of the companies that will want to hire me. So five years from now, it's it's unimaginable, uh, especially because I live in California. So the 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 opportunities are countless, man, are countless. Man, I miss doing live videos. Okay, Carlos, what did your portfolio look like when you first got into web dev? It was horrible, I actually deleted it, but I'm working on a new portfolio. I'm actually gonna make it go live maybe in two or three weeks, but maybe on my next vlog, I'll show you guys what my current portfolio looks like and what I'm building it from this point. So good good question. All right, Asari says, do you think I could get a job after high school? Um, Maybe, maybe depending on your skills and your portfolio. All right. Let's see, anything else? Zoomar spilled the beans already? I can't, man. Let's just say I'm happy, man. I'm happy. But anyway, guys, it's been 11 minutes and I have to go. I have church tonight. But again, if you guys haven't, please make sure you like this video. Um, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. And um, I'll make sure to do more uh, live videos. Coding interview tips, that I can do. And I'll talk about that later. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching my live video. This is Krishan. This is a life web developer. And I'm out. Peace. Let's, how do I hang this up? It's been this long? Are you serious? How do you hang this? All right, see you guys. <laughs>